Am I going? Oh, excuse me, I've got your snuffles. Hi. Right, I'm just pinching my son's phone to do this because he's recording on mine. Now, my eggs have been in my Arcom Pro 20 now for seven days. There we go. 14 days left. Yay. It's so exciting. On this, it comes up if you, they are D Day 14. That's 14 days left. So, I have um, at the top, I have eight Buff Orphan eggs, five Blue Aracuna eggs, and then off somebody else, the, um, I have another seven Buff Orphan eggs from a different breeder at the bottom. So, the Aracuna and the bottom Orphan eggs are from one breeder, and the other Buffs at the top are from a second breeder. So, right now, this is fun time. Let's put your phone there. So now it is time. Let's put that there so it doesn't fall. Now I have actually candled these, so I actually know. Excuse me, itchy nose. I actually do know what's going on with my eggs at the moment. I've already candled them. But I wanted to do a quick video for those that aren't used to candling eggs as such. Now very carefully. Now, I don't know how much your phone yeah, that, that will shows pick up. up. Can you see the embryo? Right there? It's kind of difficult because the um, the torch on it. Is yeah, that, there you go. Is you that see better? It. Can you see the embryo yeah. moving? There you go. You see the embryo? Right here. There we go, yeah. And if you look, can you see the veins? Yeah, but... you see some of the veins. And if you can, let me tilt the torch slightly so it's not like there you go, you can see some of the veins. That's what you're looking for at day seven. Yeah, yeah. now, as I said, I have already checked these eggs, so I know this one, number two, is also a fertile egg. And there we go. And there's baby number two. Well, will be in two weeks' time. You must be very careful how you handle these because at the moment the membranes that are holding them in place are actually very... Um, Delicate. That's the word I'm looking for. Now, I know this, this one is not fertile number three now these ones they came from very young hens in their first season now if you look there you can tell com looks completely different you can see you can see the, the yolk moving inside the egg there is an egg an air sac as you can, I don't know if you can see that on the bottom there's a line in the yes, bottom of the egg yeah. that is an air sac every single egg will have an air sac um, but as you can see, that egg is no good. It's infertile. Now, as I said, these came from their, the um, young hens in their first season of laying. And it's very early on in the season, so we weren't sure what was going to happen with them. Now, these are actually really hard to look into. I don't think this is going to show you a lot, but as you can see, you half can of it, can you see camera. it's dark? Yeah. Half of and that dark bit there that's my incubator turning the eggs well <laughs> thing is on this I can't find I know there's an embryo in there that yeah you can see it look and can you thing. just see oh yeah I can actually see it on the camera but I couldn't see it um there we go how cool is that there is a cat <laughs> yeah. there we go there we go, there's another Aracuna. Now these are Lavender Aracunas. I've not had this breed before, but I do like them, they're so cute. Mm. So I have five Aracuna oh, eggs in there. There you go. Camera. You, can, you can just about see. There we go. Oh, there we go, see? Yeah. I have actually got a new candle coming. Um, and then I'll go through a couple of the ones on the bottom. Just so you can see, these are larger. These are from older Buff Orphingtons. See, then you can see that really well. 
Mm. Oh, wow, look, you can see that one mm. so well. Look or at her. that. Or her, yeah. You see the, I don't know if the camera's actually picking up that veining there. A little bit, you have to look really hard. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do now, as I said, I have candled these already, so I actually know which eggs I have to remove. Let's put the light back on. I know which eggs I have to move and which eggs I need to leave in and Thomas's phone is completely different to mine yeah <laughs> so I'm trying to you just need to scroll uh, down and do the thing yeah no I couldn't I couldn't find the button on the back to get into it yeah. so if you could just turn on the light behind you son please oh. thank you so oh excuse me right where is my list I have a list uh hang on wrong notepad it's over there bear with me a second normally i don't leave the lid off excuse me right so normally i wouldn't be leaving the lid off this long but as i said because i have got eggs that i need to remove four Six, seven, number eight, and number eight. And I believe that one, but I'm going to double check those eggs on the bottom. Now, oh, creaky. No, run away, eggs. Oh, God. Now, the lady that I had the, these off, now, these are actually, these eggs are from Tiny Sisters. Mm. She has two of mm. Tiny Sisters. So we think her rooster is getting friendly with one hen and possibly not the other hen. So we think that may, may be what it is. But I also have, off her, bless her heart, 10 replacement eggs, which I'm actually going to put in the HDD 12 egg incubator that I have. Um, at the moment, I'm letting them settle and come up to room temperature because they've been kept cool um, before they... because. If you, um, when you take fertile eggs from a hen, if you leave them in a warm area, um, above 15 degrees, normal, well, normally this is around 37 and a half. So if they get quite warm for a long period of time, it's going to start the embryo growing. So you keep them at a low temperature um, for up to a week at most. I know there are some people who do keep hatching eggs a bit longer. Uh, but my friend who's been hatching for quite a few years, um, she doesn't like to keep them any more than a week, um, just to be on the safe side. But anyway, there you go. It just gives you some idea at day seven what you're looking for. Um, obviously, some eggs are very thick shells. Um, one of my aracuna eggs I have in here at the moment it has a really thick shell and I'm struggling to see through it with the light from the phone even though it's very bright. Um, my light on mine is much brighter than Thomas's but I'm still struggling with the shell. So I'm going to leave it in there. I don't think it's going, uh, number three is actually viable. Which one is it? Um, number three there and right underneath my pencil the blue aracuna egg. Um, I'm not sure that it's viable but I'm going to leave it in there till my new candler arrives on should be tomorrow or Tuesday. Then I will double check it. Um, and as soon as I know if it's viable or not. If it's not viable, I'll have it out the um, incubator. The last thing you want is anything going bad in your incubator. And if you get a bad, bad in, egg in going in your incubator, apparently you cannot get the smell. Touch wood, thankfully. I have not had that happen. I am touching wood. I've got a pencil. <laughs> Touch the table as well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, apparently it's not the nicest. So, anyway, guys, happy hatching. And I'll be back. Give me another few days. Um, and then I will do another candling of what's going on. And I will candle the new eggs in... So, what day is it? Tomorrow, it's the 8th. So, tomorrow, uh, so the 9th will be day one for my new eggs going in. Let's wait until I get home. Okay, I'll wait till I get you get home from school.
Because Thomas is going back to school tomorrow. Yes! <laughs> I love you, son. I really do. Yeah. But I'm sure you need a break and we really need a break. I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but... <laughs> Anyway, happy hatching. You take care.